Are All Colors Created Equally? by Jalen Crawford and Susanna Lawrence. Sir Isaac Newton and the Colors The modern understanding of color and light is from Isaac Newton. In the late 1660s, Newton started experimenting what he called the collaborative phenomenal of colors. At the time, people thought that color was a mixture of light and darkness and that prisms were what of colored light. Newton set up a prism near a window and projected a spectrum 22 feet onto an opposite wall. To prove that the prism was not coloring the light, he refracted the light back together. Light enters the prism from the top right and is refracted by the glass. The violet of, is bent more than yellow and red, and so the colors appear separated. Newton published a series of experiments in 19, 1672 that explained what we now know as the rainbow. Newton refracted a, a white light with a prism, resolving it into its component colors, red, orange, yellow, blue, green, and violet. Overall, Newton figured out the light alone was responsible for color. The Color Wheel Sir Isaac Newton also developed the first circular diagram of colors in 1666. Newton created a conceptual arrangement of colors around the circumference of a circle, which allowed an art artist's primary colors red, yellow, blue, to be arranged opposite their complementary colors. This was a way of denoting that each complementary color would enchant the other's effect through optional, optional contrast. This was popular throughout the 18th and 19th century and is similar to what we study now. The primary colors are red, yellow, blue, and these traditional colors cannot be mixed or formed by any combination of other colors. All colors are derived from these three hues. The secondary colors are green, yellow, violet, slash purple. These are the colors formed by mixing the primary colors. Secondary colors, yellow, orange, red, orange, red, violet, blue, violet, blue, green, yellow, green. These colors are formed by mixing a primary and a secondary color together, as seen on the wheel. Well, how do we see colors? Colors is a light that has been broken down into electromagnetic vibrations of different wavelengths. So once a rainbow is formed through a prism after refracting white light and the color is projected on the surface, the color will be absorbed by the object except one. Therefore, given the colors we see every day, this is called subtractive color. The strongest wavelengths come off as red, then orange, then yellow, and so forth. How do we see colors continued? When light hits an object, an object absorbs some of the light and reflects the rest of it. Which wavelengths are reflected depend on the properties of the object. For example, when you see a ripe banana, there are wavelengths of yellow light about 570 through 580 nanometers. The wavelengths of reflected light determine what colors you see. The light waves reflect off the object and hit the light sensitive retina at the back of your eye. How retina sees color. In the retina, there are things called photoreceptors. They are tiny cells that respond to light. About 64% of the photoreceptors they have around 6 to 7 million in total, respond strongly to red light, whereas a third of them respond to green light, and just about 2% respond to blue light. Basically, when light hits these photoreceptors, it stimulates at varying degrees. The result signals is zapped along the optic nerve to a visual cortex of the brain, which then processes the color. Humans and color perspective. Since humans have three different photoreceptors, we are better at discerning colors than most animals. However, some animals beat out humans when it comes to color vision department. Many birds and fish have four types of photoreceptors, which enables them to see ultraviolet light, or light with wavelengths shorter than the, what the human eye can perceive. Some insects can see ultraviolet, which helps them see patterns, plants, and flowers that are invisible to humans. This means to a bumblebee, a rose might not actually be red. How is color formed? After Newton's initial discoveries in color, there were further experiments demonstrating to understand how color is formed. It was discovered that light could be combined to form other colors. A light, red light mixed with yellow light creates orange light. Some colors, such as yellow and purple, cancel each other out when mixed, and the result is white light. Psychology of color. There is very little research done on the psychology of color, but it is known that some colors may make us feel certain ways. For example, anxious, and the other colors may feel, make us feel differently. Colors in the red area of color spectrum, red, orange, yellow, are known as warm colors. 
These colors bring about emotions of warmth, comfort, the feeling of anger and hostility. Colors on the blue side of the spectrum, blue, purple, green, are known as cool colors. These colors are often described as calm but bring feelings of sadness and indifference. Fun fact, recently researchers discovered that the color red caused people to react with greater speed and force. And here's our work cited.